so guys we're gonna start recording again this is how the noise campaign starts these guys work for them listen to the argument so i can hear it outside it's always people talking and screaming about you so these are the workers that's what they do right the people that work for them they're always moving they're always talking that's how you can spot them. They're agents. You know, that's to keep you tense. Now, this stuff was done to me for my own family. I just found out that, I don't know, maybe I was, uh, what's it called, uh, adopted. I'm not from them because they're all the same and I'm different than all of them. And they all act the same way that these people act outside. So. I realized that maybe I was adopted, I was an orphan in an orphanage, and maybe they microchipped me from way back in 75, don't be surprised. That technology has been around for a long time. So if you look at the movie like The Truman Show, this was what was done to me, pretty much. How? Because I was an orphan, because, there you go, because I was taken into this family that pretty much pretended to be, so it's movement, they teach their kids to, to move as much as they can, they see you come in and they come in with the big stuff. This is how you know. And it's gonna be beautiful now because we know more about the situation, you know, we can expose them better. So basically, it's the CSSIS, it's the, you know, it's the, pretty much government agencies, what they do is they all work with each other. and. One second, boys, I'm just lighting up a smoke. All these government agencies, what they do is, and every evening they put people in the dark here to move while you're passing by, look. Look at them. So you can see movement. Even in the dark, it's freezing outside. They have people in the building that work for them that are using the swings so they can clutter if you look. So you can see things moving. See those swings? These are swings over there. It's pretty dark here, but... You know, I s took down my channel. It was called Stop Invasion of Privacy. Now I put it back up. We're gonna do it different this time. I've deleted a lot of videos, unfortunately. You know, I was stupid to do that, but I do have a lot left that prove my case. I'm gonna show you how the planes roam the sky on top of me everywhere I go to, because now I realize it's the planes. You know, how did I know that? It's because of I went to a field one time. I'm going to go there again. Maybe hopefully I'll record something for you guys and show you how they go after me, all these planes. You'll be shocked. At first, I didn't think it was me. I thought maybe the planes turn around this area and they go back to the airport. But then I went to this field one day and they couldn't send people there. It looked pretty obvious. I was recording. Look at the amount of cars. It's a holiday today, guys, that are out there, you know? So, and they leave stuff like this in your way always, just to bother you. It's always red. They like the color red. They use it a lot. Weird things like that. They leave them on your trail, wherever you go. And they're always surrounding you with cars and people and planes. All of them. And the buses, they work with them, the TTC, everything, everything. They run the whole establishment here in Canada. All these cars that are passing by fast. It's a holiday today. None of these cars should be around and none of these people should be around, you know? So, listen to the noise this carriage is making, the stroller. Listen to that noise. It's specifically done for that, to bother you. That's not a normal person just walking with the stroller with their baby at nighttime, it's freezing. So today, I didn't film earlier, I'm telling you guys, there was maybe, I swear to you, over 20,000 cars around me today. I walked all the way from Finch and Dumb Mills to Finch and Victoria Park. People that know this area, it's in Toronto, North York, Scarborough border. I'm telling you, today was a holiday, April 22nd, 2019, it's an Easter Monday. It was rammed, cars and people on bus stops, and even they started to laugh because I looked around, I was like, wow, all this is for me? It was amazing. 
anyways, we're gonna keep. I'm gonna keep showing you guys more video. We're gonna prove it more and more. Look what they do to the ground here. Just to clutter your view with everything. To keep it cluttered. To keep you bothered. The buses take long to come. Look at the amount of cars coming. Look how fast they're zooming by me. Look how close they're driving to me. Towards me. That's how you know they're CSIS agents. Because they drive like maniacs. They turn towards you. Look, they come close. Because it's an attack on you, basically. You know, look, I'm standing on the curb here. I'm not standing on the street. Look how close they're driving and they all want to turn in right away. This is how you know they're government agents. They drive like maniacs around you. There's always one parked with the signal so it can clutter your view, you know. I'm going to show you everything now, guys. Everything. All these guys are government agents. This area, there's barely any cars here at nighttime. All of them. Even these expensive cars. You'll know right away from the way they're moving inside their car too. They're playing. Look how he moves. He moves his arms right away. It's movement. You see the movement. As soon as they get there, they start moving. That's how you know they're government agents. Because they're supposed to clutter your view. And talk. Look how he moves his hand back and forth. Back and forth. Constant movement. This one stops in a strange place. These are all government agents. All of them. So what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to irritate you, provoke you, you know, you can tell. And drive you nuts, you know, and make you tense the whole time and they're always around you. Non-stop, anywhere you go, there's always a car parked around you. At night time, four o'clock and loud ones keep the noise high it's they want to make every environment noisy for you and weird cars that deliver pizzas that show up mail trucks at night time i've recorded today i've recorded a mail truck today was a holiday there was no mail a mail truck came to my building it's to tease because i'm waiting for a check you know they do the psychological warfare on you see the way they're driving look Cars don't speed like this around here, guys. And always there's one turning. This is a nobody street. Look, there's people walking across the street now already. Look. Look at the way they walk. There's nobody that walks around this area. These are all government agents. Look at the action around me already. Look. Look. Look at the action. In an unbusy place. Look. Look at them moving. Look how they move inside the car. They don't stop moving. It's always the movement. Look at them. That's how you know they're government agents. See how he's talking on the phone and moving his head? It's movement. That's how you know. It's the only way to know. So, because they want to keep you bothered, clutter your view. All these cars are driving like maniacs around me. All of them. Look at the busyness already. It's a holiday today. There should be no cars around here now. Look. And the bus will take forever to come. It's always, they work with them, the TTC. They work with the government on this. So, um, I don't know, uh, we'll take it as it comes, I guess. We'll film, you know, things as they come. And I'll show you guys certain things. Look, they're all turning right. On this street that's Huntingwood. It's a nobody street, guys, in Toronto. Victoria Park in Huntingwood. Not many cars should be here now. Not many cars turn here. At 9 o'clock, let me see the time. It's actually, look how fast they're going, look. All of them. See how fast they're going? Nobody drives this fast around here. That's over the speed limit. That's to tense you, to keep you tense. Loud cars zooming around you, whizzing around you everywhere you go. How would you feel? You get tense. So they think I'm getting tense now. They like it. This, the idea is to keep you tense, keep you stressed. If you keep someone like that, they stay destroyed. You know, you stay drained. You have no energy to do anything. Music's playing loud. The first car that parks here right in front of me. So I can hear noise. Listen. Only this car is playing music. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Only the closest one to me. This is how you know. Look how they're moving and talking. Moving their arms, moving their face. These are all government workers. All of them, all of them. I can tell. They come in a row like this. There's no excuse for this busyness here. None. That's a government worker, the one that's coming. I can tell from the way they move, the way they talk, everything. You could tell. 
all of them, all these cars turning, all of them. Look, look, look how angry they are. It's this energy that they want to stress you with it. And it's the clothing, it's the way they walk. You can, you could see it, it's pretty obvious. It's not normal human behavior. They're government agents, you know. So this is pretty much, you know, I want to try to give you guys an idea of what I go through everywhere I go. Buses come flying with tons of government agents with them at nine o'clock on a holiday. There should be nobody in there. Everyone that lives around this area knows that. This is a pure vigilante secret agency attack on a Canadian citizen that has done no wrong, hasn't broken the law, doesn't have even a criminal record. I've never done anything in my life. They charged me in 2005 for a stupid charge. I was set up. It was something stupid. I didn't even do jail time. It was a small fine. For some reason, it stayed, and I applied for a pardon. I'm supposed to be getting it in a couple of months. It takes a year to get a pardon. I don't know why. I applied for it like seven months ago, and I paid them, too. They charged me a 1000 bucks. So I don't have anything. I've never done anything. I'm not a drug smuggler. I'm not a, like a criminal. I'm, I don't get into fights. I've never done anything in my life. And why are they on me? For some reason, they don't like me. I don't know. You know, look how fast they drive. You see, look how many cars are around me at this time. Because this is supposed to work you. It's supposed to make you tense. See how they drive? Look. Look, look at the busyness. Look how close they come to me. With the, look how close they're driving to me. Look, they could almost run me over. I'm here, by the way. Look how fast they drive in the right lane. So this is supposed to work you. You know, it's supposed to stress you. It's supposed to piss you off. But I'm going to show them that it's not going to do anything to me. I'm just going to record and make videos to prove what I'm going through. The abuse that these people are doing to me. Hidden in plain sight. Big trucks come. And you know what they do, the government workers? They pick the holes on the ground, whatever the holes are, to go in them on purpose to create noise for you. I know it sounds ludicrous, guys, but that's what they do. you got to remember, it's a noise campaign that they're pulling against you and cluttering your view campaign. Because those are stressors. If someone is surrounded with this the whole time, they'll get stressed, you know? Now, look at the bus driver, how he's going to drive, and the movement of the people in there, and the noise. Unnecessary noise. Pick up my car. One second. So, they've uh, toned down the volume a bit because in my other videos, I've exposed them. Yeah, there's always a meaningless long conversation going like the one you hear over there. It's a meaningless one. If you listen to it, and, and coughing. Everyone coughs. And all this coughing is fake. It's basically to stress you, to, uh, you know, I've, you've seen my other videos, I'm gonna upload them again, you'll see them. That's how they do it, that's the style, you know? Just to really make you tense, so you pretty much, you pretty much um, sort of, you're always tense, stressed, you know, there's always cluttering movement around you. And noise, 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 clearing throats, coughing. I've recorded scenes in malls before. I don't know if I still have those videos because I deleted my channel like an idiot. I tried to make a deal with them. But I still have a lot of videos saved. Those are the ones I'm going to upload again from back in the past. But from now on, I'm going to show you guys what they do and how they treat, uh, you know. Guys, this bus at this time, there shouldn't be that many people in here. Not many people take this bus. All these guys are government agents. Usually on a holiday, today is the, um, uh, what was it, 22nd of April, you know, it's Easter Monday for God's sakes. Believe me when I tell you, look, look what they do. So you get these weird cars parked in certain places like that, you know, and they think it's, you know, lots of lights really stress you and bug you, and they do. If you're surrounded by them the whole time, you have no place to rest. There's this density around you the whole time, tense, tense, tense. They do have a certain effect on you. But it's because they're stressors. But overall, if you're, you have a good mind, you know, on your, and good head on your shoulders, and you're heading in the right direction, 
then they really don't do anything. As long as you know where you're heading, you know. You, you gotta remember, you're fighting a, a bully. It's a big bully with a lot of rights. And you gotta always see that you try to support couples, because I'm a single guy, so there's always uh, couples flirting and see how they barge in. They ask stupid questions. That's how you know couples, fake couples, lots of those. You can tell there's no energy between them. And it's basically to irritate you, you know, because to tell you that, to remind you of it again and again and again. You're single, you're single, you're single. I'm pretty sure they do it to women too, with men, I don't know what their style is, but that's one of them. See all the big trucks come out at nighttime. Garbage trucks, filling up gas stations. Look at the busyness around me, look, look, look. It's a holiday. Look, look at this madness, look. They're all government agents, all of them. The people, the cars, all of them. Wheelchairs come out, fast cars, loud. Listen, look, look. See, this is supposed to tense you. Makes you tense and angry and you know what I mean? And they try to depress you with like people in wheelchairs, elderly that are sick, they look sick, you know, stuff like that. So they create an environment for you that's supposed to, look. even the bus driver drives like a maniac. You go inside the bus, guys, people don't put money in where the coin machine is and he keeps on emptying it. Why? Because it makes noise. Tick, tick, tick. So anything to look, stressors. See, this is supposed to stress you. People running to the bus fast. The bus stops in the middle of the street. All this is supposed to stress you. So they're, you know, they have their little things. They think I'm stressed now, which is good. I want to show you guys on video what's going on. Look at what they're doing to me. Guys, this area at this time, you'll barely see a human being walking or a car. All right, look. Trucks and gas stations. Look at the, look, look at the amount of cars. Look, these are all government agents, all of them, 90%. Maybe 100% even. And look, now they come, the workers, and move. They want to create movement the whole time to keep your view cluttered with movement. So the workers come here when I get here and they start walking. Look, they have nothing to do. Look at him. He's standing around. He doesn't know what to do next. He pulls out his phone. He starts typing. He has to tell them what I'm doing. Look how loud they're talking. Listen. Listen to how loud they're talking. Because I'm supposed to be stressed. This is supposed to be affecting me. Look. look girls walking over there towards me. All this is fake, guys. All of it. All of it. All of it. That's not how the city is at this time here. Look. Look at the harassment. So it's creating this environment for you. It's supposed to stress you. Look at them. Listen, they're talking loud. Posing in front of the camera. They're not doing anything. Why are they talking and moving their arms there? That's what gang stalkers do. Now these two girls are supposed to stress me out. Look, look, they're talking. Listen, listen. Listen, look, look, they're smiling and talking. Listen. Listen, look. See, it's a stage. It's fake. So... This is supposed to stress you, work you, and then, you know, you're supposed to get, as a man, you know, stressed out, and they show you attractive girls, and I want to describe to you guys the environment that they put you through, at least, I guess, if what they're doing to a single guy, you know, when it comes to the other sex. Maybe if they do this for uh, a guy who's married, they'll pull a different tactic with him, you know, um, I think. Or maybe they'll do the same, I don't know. But just to show you guys what I'm surrounded with everywhere I go. It's a charade over there. This is fake. All right. These two are talking like they're solving the world's problems. Look, as soon as I get here, look how he's moving back and forth. And he's talking loud. Listen. So they bring others too to come beside you and talk on their phone. Usually it's to work you, stress you. You know, unnecessary noise usually always around you. So look at them moving. So this is supposed to really work you and stress you. Because if you see all this, look, look at the amount of cars, look, look. It ain't even this busy, this city, this busy downtown sometimes, you know. But this is something that you really have to grab it by the horns. If you do, it won't bother you anymore. Because once you know that all this is here for you, it's a charade, it's theater. You can't let it bother you, so you have to enjoy it. Look what's happening over there, look. So now over there, they're bringing it. See, it's lights, flickering lights and people and busyness, cluttering your view, you know, making lots of noise. Look what's around me. I can't breathe. I can't even take a breath. Look, look, look. Nonstop noise, cars, people, they come stand right beside you, talk on the phone. Anything that seems natural, but in the end, it's not. Look, he's walking towards me now. He has to call them and ask them, hey, what's going on? What should I do now? He's doing this. He's doing that. 
So he comes to closer to me. Look how he comes close to me. Look how he's moving his arms. He has to be moving. So that's how it is. There you go. Busyness, busyness, busyness. Unnecessary. Everything awakens. You know, it's supposed to really, you know, put you in a stressful mood. So movement, see how this guy came, scratched his eye. As soon as I put the phone on, look, he's scratching his eye. It's movement. That's how you know they're all government worker uh, agents. Look, they're coming towards me. It's all filled up. There should be nobody here. Look, at they're cleaning the windows over there. Look, look at the charade. They don't do this at this time, guys. Look like he's making more noise over there. All this action happening as soon as I got here. Just so how you know how they set the stage. They think they're tough. They're doing it harder now. Look at the planes. They have planes in the sky too, always on top of me. At least five. There was about 40,000 cars here today in the daytime when I came here. Now you guys will believe me. Look at the madness. Guys, the time right now is 9... It's t uh, 20 to 10. It's April 22nd. Today is April 22nd, right? 2019? Uh, Easter Monday, right? Yes. Just trying to justify to my audience here. I'm making a video so they believe me. You know, so anyone who lives in this area will tell you this madness does not go on here at this time. Anyone, not even on a week, not even in rush hour, it's this busy here. All right, guys. So let me see any planes. There's always four or five planes on top of me everywhere I go, at least, always. I'm gonna keep showing you that. So it's the same government worker, you know, for the this agency they work for. They're 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 mafia, man. They're not even, you know, they prey on people that they think that are a threat to them. People like me that have no record, never done anything wrong, just want to abuse them, you know. Look how the bus driver's gonna move now. Look at this bus. It's back with them. They're gonna be quiet. conversation at the back taking place they've toned it down a bit because this one's trying to hide from the camera because right there she was all around me all there now she's sitting beside me they've toned it down a bit because what happens is you you can tell that there it's a noise campaign you know after they do all this to you So I'm happy I took down the videos, I'm happy I deleted them because they've toned down their actions. You know, I used to go into a place like this and it was pure stress over and over and over and over again. You know what I mean? They're scared. 
they're scared. So I put them in their place. And it's beautiful. You know? up your environment you know whatever sort of really you know makes you feel uncomfortable and clogged up with you know whatever movement uh, number of people anything like that you know those th these are the irregularities that you will actually notice you know like I told you earlier about the uh, Tell you guys when I get out um, you gotta remember that because those are you know sort of the important things that really you know give it away so those are it's, it's they're small things but you know if you do mention them you could see them you could actually gotta pay attention to them though and then you can realize them right that's how you know Thanks. Have a good night. This is, you know, and a lot of people make money out of this. You got to remember. All these people, see how he released the brakes of the bus? You can hear it. Look how he drives away so fast. Though I don't drive like that, real people, guys. It's like it's anger around you. This machine that's angry, that just wants to make noise and stress you. And you got to look at it that way because that's who's controlling it. This is not, these are not individual people that you're meeting here and there, guys. These are government work, not government, I'm not going to say government because they're not. These are a combined effort to try to make you miserable, to keep you in your place. You can't move forward in life, you can't get a job, you can't do anything. So that's what these are, you know, people to make you like that, miserable. is supposed to stress you she's a government worker too they open the door ahead of time so you run because running hypes up your blood pressure and when you run it hypes you and you don't want to be hyped because that's a, that's what they're trying to do to you in the end you know what I mean they want to hype you and make you miserable after so it's hyping you up and there you go, they come out, either to clean or whatever, especially if it's to clean. Always people coming out in front of you. It's nine o'clock, nobody plays the piano in this building here. It's senior citizens at this time, especially. And talks like that. And now the elevator, something's wrong with it. That's what they do to you in every building you get into. They have the power to do that, believe me, guys. They control your whole environment. So, this is the kind of evil entity. Look, they're making noise here. While I stand for you, he doesn't even know how to play the piano, listen. They're usually elderly people, a lot that work for them, because they use them to sort of make you depressed. All you see is elderly, elderly all day long. Usually, not all of them. There's young guys, young girls too, there's everything. It's mixed. She stays around me the whole time. She makes noise, noise, noise. And that's what they do, guys. That's how this works. 
Oh, look at the way my own family treats me. Cigarettes, man, head back here, do they? Oh, we're gonna take a pack. Two, Nan? Why do you have the door open? Because it's hot. Now I put the AC on, so. Good. Yeah, I just wanted cigarettes. Come on. 